It's playoff time once again in the NHL, and we'll probably be seeing catfish thrown on the ice. Yes, I'm quite serious. I want to tell you what species you'll probably see on the ice, why it's thrown, and a couple cool facts about the fish. I'm Koa of Koa Nature, where we millennials are reconnected with nature to spread knowledge and be nature heroic. And this video is quite personal for me because I love hockey and I love fishes. And it's even more personal than that, but I'll tell you at the end. So who and why are throwing these fish on the ice? Well, it will surely be the fans of the Nashville Predators, as their team has won the President's Trophy, finishing the 2017-18 regular season with the best record in the NHL. And they will be looking for good luck in that postseason. But let's rewind to 1952, when this tradition sort of began, when the Detroit Red Wings had a fan throw an octopus on the ice for good luck. The Wings went on to win the Stanley Cup and the tradition stuck. Then a half century later, a Nashville fan did the same thing in a game against the Red Wings, throwing a catfish on the ice, and Nashville won that game, and that tradition stuck. Sort of, it re-emerged years later, but last year it was a huge thing to do. So now fans are sneaking these fish into arenas, trying to earn their team some luck. And if you can't see the rationality in this, you don't have to. Just accept that sports fans are often superstitious, or just seeking 15 minutes of fame. So the popular species thrown on the ice seems to be Ictolurus punctatus, or the channel catfish, or channel cat. This is an abundant commercial fish found in the Tennessean waters. The forked tail and dark coloration makes this species distinguishable from the flathead and the blue catfish, respectively. And younger channel cats do have spots. These fish can be caught by many methods, but the most odd method is by noodling or hogging. This is where people go underwater using their hands as bait, sticking them in holes hoping a catfish bites on. And it can be dangerous. There's a risk of drowning or sticking your hand in a snapping turtle's face. Or just running the risk of the catfish tearing up your arm. These channel cats have taste buds all over their bodies, especially sensitive in those barbels or cat-like whiskers around the mouth. So they are masters of chemoreception, or tasting and smelling, which is perfect for a fish living in dark, murky waters and can always rely on eyesight. This is one of the ways that they communicate and find food. And like many species of catfish, this fish has sharp dorsal and pectoral spines, and they are also quite odiferous. So fans smuggling these fish into arenas not only run the risk of getting a hefty fine and kicked out of the game, but also a nasty jabbing and possibly smelling quite foul. And I do have much respect for the Nashville Predators, knowing that their core of blue liners are the best in the NHL, and I did want them to win the cup last year. But I've been a diehard Avalanche fan for 20 years, and the Avalanche will be playing Nashville in round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for giving up Gerard, by the way. So you know who I'll be rooting for. So I'd rather not see any catfish sacrificed for the pure purpose of superstition, but I'm sure it's gonna happen anyways. Toss a like on this video if you are gonna watch some playoff hockey this year. Spread some knowledge, be nature heroic. Consider subbing if you haven't already or watch another video. Connect with some nature. Cheers.